want to give like a shout out, like. This one's for the affiliate this, owners. This one's for the affiliate owners. <laughs> Did you like the, the Hunger, Hunger Games? Games. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We get you. Amway and Herbalife. And Herbalife. Specific. Oh, let's please get into MLM. And Herbalife. Yeah. Y'all get into it. it. Do into it. it. No holding yeah. back. I need you guys to get closer though. Because right now I'm back and forth. Uh, okay. a, little, a little closer. Sorry. I mean, it's been rolling this entire time. I said yeah. just keep it going. Coffee rant. Coffee rant. Yeah, coffee rant. It's an angry rant. Angry rant. Yeah. Why are we angry? Because I don't want to sell your wad socks. Yeah. I don't need your wad socks. Wad socks. <laughs> <laughs> How many sock companies out there? Oh my god. It, I mean, Too many to count. You know, I get that like, it's pretty cool that CrossFit itself has created this whole other market for people. There's been a lot of businesses that have found a lot of success and, and new things that have started based off of like... But if you have WAD in your company name, <laughs> change your company name. Yeah. yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Work out of the day. Work out of the day socks. <laughs> Work out of the day shirts. Yeah. Yeah, but this is this one goes out to all the affiliate owners. Yeah, we we feel your pain. We get so many emails and phone calls every single week. Well, reason for the call today, John, is something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. From people trying to get us to sell not only like supplements, like that's one thing, and, and we get that. That's pretty complimentary. I mean, there's like really shitty supplements. Our potent supplement is made up of 25% real badger milk. If you call now, you'll get two cartons of badger milk for the price of one. But, like, aside from that, like, stupid stuff, like, like, chapstick and... Or, like, this towelette. It's like a shower in a towelette. Yeah. Hi, it's Vince with Sham Wow. <laughs> right. And your members will love it. You'll be saying wow every time you use this towel. And they just take a shower with this wipe. Yeah. It's like a chamois, it's like a towel, it's like a sponge. Yeah. Like, yeah, do you want like a custom chalk bucket wrap? I'm like, no, I don't your logo on Yeah, it. I don't know, but I really don't need that. Like, and, and they'll harass you over and over and over again. Yeah. So, you know, for those gyms out there that like protect your tribe like we do, I don't think people realize how like fiercely protective we are over our people. Like, we get emailed and called constantly by these businesses that want to use our membership, right? A bunch of people that trust us, that listen to what we have to say and recommend, and they want us to sell these products to their people, but no benefit to us, first yeah, of all. Yeah, I mean, like, there would be dozens of products that we'd be trying to push on our members that... Yeah, right. Like, no, I don't believe in it. I don't use it. I don't like it. I don't trust it. Like, there's no benefit. To any of us yeah. here except for that person's business yeah so if you're a business out there and you're approaching every CrossFit gym uh, one we're gonna get a blanket email yeah I'd say three times a day that's like dear they'll use our old name oh yeah, like the old name. yeah. yeah dear SPSC CrossFit it's like right. you're not up to date at yeah. all <laughs> I worked hard uh, on that website. <laughs> <laughs> you're stupid you don't even so know. it'll be like hey dear CrossFit owner I'm an affiliate owner so I know or like I have a friend that was an affiliate owner so I get it right you should buy these socks yeah and <laughs> And I don't want to like crush entrepreneurs like I understand you've got a passion or you're starting a product or a business whatever at least be a little more authentic and, and like genuine in your emails introduction yeah. it's like the same like bland like you could tell they just copy pasted our email address mm -hmm. among the hundreds of others and just sent all out to us like hey just following up on the 17 emails I sent you yesterday why haven't you responded yeah. these have been 17 emails in one day and I don't want it or maybe right. I'm busy and I don't have time to talk well, to you yeah from so from that business's perspective they need to understand like the amount of sweat and hard work and everything else that went into acquiring the membership base that we have yeah and keeping them happy with our service right and then not diluting our trust. Yeah, our understand trust. that all right. you're doing is trying to step in and go, hey, can I take advantage of all your hard work and sell my product with 
five percent margins to Not you. Not even like, sometimes. Yeah, sometimes like, can you just sell this stuff for the you know uh, the good of your heart? Yeah, and uh, it'll it, benefit yeah. your members. It'll add value. It'll just keep them happy and give them better results. So you should just sell it. Well, what's in it for me as a business? Oh, you guys don't make anything off of it. It's just yeah. it's good for your members. What? This is a business. It's yeah. almost that they just wrote a better ethical email right. or like, yeah. So how do we do? How do we make this all, work? I'm not sending you. If you a, want a, to get my attention, you have to incentivize us. Yeah. There has to be a benefit to the business, the members. Obviously, that's the most important. And then, I mean, it can't add to our stress. It can't add to our our duties or anything like that. Like when you're trying to solicit other businesses to sell or use your products, like don't make it more work for them. It has to save me money or make me money. Yeah, you better have a plan in place to be like, just do this. We'll take care of the rest. Yeah. Put a little link on your website and we'll do all the fulfillment. We'll do everything else. Right. Not here. Warehouse a bunch of our pre-made yeah. meals in your gym. And we're gonna give you zero cut, but go ahead and sell and process all these transactions for us, right. so that we can make our money. Yeah, yeah. Just and then if they don't like, like their food, you have to deal with it and deal with leftovers. It's like, it's just mm. yeah, yeah. It, we we get that a lot with uh, meal delivery services. We've gone yeah. through like three There's or so four many. of them. They start out great, right? Because you think, okay, I'm trying to teach these people, our members, how to eat well. Here are great options for them if they don't have the time to cook, want to cook, great good food. So we bring them in, test out their products, get good feedback. All right, we'll sign up with you. And sure as shit, a couple weeks into it, they miss their delivery dates or, you know, the processing of the orders goes wrong or, yeah. and it always comes back on us. It always comes back to putting more things on our plate to have to deal with or right. reconcile. And they start asking you your know. coaches stuff. Like, yeah. An and it's like, yeah, we're like, not even making any make money off deals. of it. Yeah. I don't know. But at the same time, it's like, hey, I stamped my name of approval and it said, hey right. guys, buy this. Yeah. And it goes down the shitter. What was that lady yesterday? She called and she had a meeting. She set up a meeting without you guys agreeing to it. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. That's just, that's like SEO crap or business uh, yeah. marketing. She's like, hey, I'm um, just letting you know that um, my representative will be in the area at three. So will you be there? And I'm like, wait, wait, wait what? I'm like, no, 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 I don't want an appointment. She's like, no, we haven't set the appointment up. We're just, she's gonna be there. I'm just making sure that someone's there. I'm like, well, yeah, we're open, but we're busy. Yeah, but someone will be there, right? I said, don't come in. She's like, no, but she's just gonna be, I'm like, don't come in. Can't sit with us. Don't, you're not invited. Yeah, I think any business, you're not invited. Any, you're not invited. Any small business owner can, <laughs> Do you want paper products? No, it's digital. Yeah, <laughs> any, any business owner can relate to this. Like the amount of calls and solicitation you have to deal with Every day as a business owner, and people like trying to pressure you into stuff. Your profit on a mere $6,000 investment would be upwards of $60,000. And come up with oh. a good sales tactic. No, it's, it's Vince Offer here with my new product called the Sticky. You're going to clean your home in a quickie when you use your Sticky. Oh, like it's the, the, uh, the yearbook. Yeah. Or whatever that oh, is. Oh, like, yeah. You can be in our football. Our like. elementary school has a. <laughs> field hockey team and we put out an annual yearbook. If you and, get a picture this gonna, big. <laughs> for just $500, you just for buy this size. a tiny corner square and it reaches a million people. It's like bullshit. Your yeah. elementary school doesn't reach a million people. <laughs> and they're sure as hell not reading that. Oh, the best man. one's Instagram, the yeah. auto comments. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Hit Sponsor me up for athlete. more followers. <laughs> yeah. Dream no, no, elegance. No, no, like, dream elegance. Dream yeah. elegance. I'm gonna call you out, <laughs> Dream Elegance, right now. Jesus. Everybody that, that has any following on Instagram knows a stupid yeah. dream elegance Email thing. Email us now. <laughs> they don't even have a good they profile. Become a red. They have like four pictures. The shirts on. suck. The shirts are terrible. Oh yeah, that's. Oh man, one. my clothing line. My clothing line. Yeah. <laughs> Water <laughs> die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just put wad on everything and then burn it? Yeah. Like, I'm so sick of <laughs> the stupid sayings on t-shirts and like... Jerk wad snatch. Yeah, I had a snatch and then a wad jerk. And, <laughs> and then I cleaned so it, angry. but then I, my snatch is dead, so I cleaned it and then I jerked because I blew my wad. Like, <laughs> kill <I'm> yourself. <laughs> That was cool, like in like so 2010. Much. Like that yeah. was like 2010, well, we're, 2000 we're way CrossFit. Like, we're way yeah. beyond that. 
yeah, let's not do that anymore. Doesn't yeah. make any sense. If you have WAD in your brand name, just change it. Yeah. You have such a narrow scope in your business. Well, it's just it's cheesy. It's, I think like CrossFit has evolved to where like we're more like high end now. Like right. people don't want like the neon high socks anymore. Like remember that? Like yeah. neon high socks, like neon everything. Board like, shorts. Okay, yeah, Lulu. board shorts and yeah, everyone's like yeah, designer everyone. like it's stepped up like lifestyle kind of clothing. You know, it's yeah. not. I mean, yeah, we we wear fun shirts and stuff like that. What's but those barbell pants? The virus? Yeah, the virus. Yeah, mm. yeah. But sleek is in. Sleek is in. Mm -hmm. The uh, the skull kettlebell thing is out. Sorry. What folks. kettlebell crew is dead? Yeah. <laughs> All the skulls and kettlebells and yeah. Sorry, that's over. Yeah. No. But just if you are a business owner, I get it. Like we all have to hustle and, and especially when you're first starting out and trying to like develop that following or that customer base, you do have to get on the phone. You do have to go into businesses and shake hands and, and make relationships, but be more genuine. Like have a something to offer well, yeah, that value business to owner. Propose. Yeah, like you've got to demonstrate your value. Like what problem are you gonna solve for me and my business right. and my members? Because understand how you know? busy small business owners are and how much just like of our life goes into mm -hmm. our business. Just yeah. emotionally yeah. and physically like genuinely mentally, taking care of these financially people like and Yeah. Biz small business owners, especially box owners, are putting in so much work and so much sweat equity. Like if you're gonna come sell something to somebody like us or another small business owner, yeah. you better understand that we have more important things on our schedule than that little thing yeah. or the constant SEO yeah. <laughs> nonsense that we get bombarded with. But just know that and say like, hey, yeah. I've got this value for you. You know what the successful companies do, the ones that we end up working with, they send us a bunch of free stuff. Yeah. And I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not saying it's like, oh, it's yeah, just no. it's free, but it speaks for itself. Showcase your product. It. Yeah. Like right. showcase they it. They get it. Say, hey, yeah. give this out to your members. Like, we're going to take a hit on this. Right. But, you know, that's probably going to come back to you because mm -hmm. I know I feel some little bit of obligation. I think anytime you give something for free that has yeah. value, yeah. that person wants to reciprocate. Yeah. So don't just email me about your right. socks or your shorts or yeah, whatever. Like, send email. me a pair. So I. Yeah. So I know it. I'm not going to believe you. Can I have your logo? I have Can it. I print 30 socks for your next competition? Right, right. Exactly. Here they are. Give them away as gifts. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh. as a, like as business owners, we've given away our services a ton. Right. We you have to. give away free intros and free trials and free classes and all that stuff because we want to prove what we're worth. Right. You need to do that. Yeah. And I think the, the higher price point your product or services, the more you have to like date and gain trust, you know? So especially if it's like this higher end thing, you want to sell you know, some high end supplement or something like that and you're not even willing to like give us samples and let us try it. Like I don't recommend anything to anyone that I don't personally try, like, have had success with. So yeah. I'm certainly not going to recommend any kind of product or anything to our membership that we haven't personally like experienced or you know, Yeah, well, like you said, we're putting that stamp of approval on mm -hmm. like, yeah. it. It better be good. Yeah. Exactly. And I'm certainly not just going to peddle something that some corporation has created to have a high margin just so I can make money. <coughs> MLMs. Yeah. Mm, I which mean, ones? Mm. Oh my God. There's so many. All the shakes. Wadology. People, yeah. Wadology. <laughs> oh my God. You got to buy the domain. Wadology. Wadology. No. Yeah. Wads. I mean, we could have a whole other thing about MLMs and all the stuff involved Ooh, in that. Is this this episode or next one? Mm. I mean, it's gross. Do it. <clears throat> I think anybody that follows Nicole knows enough <laughs> about that. And fair, it's not at, at no point are we knocking somebody's hustle. Yeah. But like, damn, you're bothering me a lot. You got some balls. Yeah, Good but I you. might be knocking your integrity. And but, yeah, that's something that we take very seriously. Yeah. There's no. nothing wrong with making money for your family or yourself. No. But. If you're just peddling nonsense. You can't even stand behind your own product. You don't know what's actually in it. You don't know the benefits. Or it's just bullshit. It's yeah. When you look at these MLMs products website and there's more information on how you can make money and make it a business than there is about the actual product. Red the flag. business is Bit not the about flag. the product and helping people. The business is getting other people to sell shit for you to make money. Like yeah. that's yeah. all it is. And there's tons of those. You have a there's disclaimer saying why you're not an MLM. Yeah. Means you're probably. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh no, it's 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 direct marketing. 
or piece, oh, it just know. keeps changing names. Yeah, I mean, but it's it, like okay, and then you, and then you actually like draw it on paper how it works. Like oh, weird, it so makes a pyramid. Shapes? Oh, that's weird. <laughs> oh, so you sell two people, and those people sell. Oh, that's wow, it's kind of yeah. like a pyramid. Yeah. yeah, it's not a pyramid scheme. I am changing lives. Like you know, that. well, corporations have uplines, yeah. right? Yeah, you have a boss. Yeah, right. That's what yeah, I was told. Yeah, business owners are. Oh, that's another one. Uh, but no, uh, MLM, whatever it is, if you are going to come to it, us or any small business for that matter, presenting a product or service to sell, it better be providing a solution to our needs. Yeah. It better be valuable to us as business owners, us, you know, as far as the business itself and, you know, the, the members, you know, as far as our business goes. Yeah, it's easy to get caught in that trap, I think, if you're in your first year or two right. and you're, you're like I just need to make more revenue it's tough to yeah it's tough crap. to get the revenue and right. somebody comes to you and their first thing out of their mouth is like this can make you a lot of money right and yeah. then way you're down the <laughs> way down the list is like what it actually benefits for people right and we're in the health industry and we're not going to give somebody crappy stuff that's going to actually be counterproductive <laughs> to yeah. what they're trying to do here just so we can make a buck and, yeah, uh, it's like I'm not gonna sell your shirts. I'm gonna sell our shirt. Yeah, elevate that. Or hey, maybe you can present something like if you're a reputable brand, we could co-create a shirt. How That'd about be that? Dope. But no sure. one ever does that. No, no one ever does that. I think outside the box. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah. So show value. Stop just trying to sneak in and, and make money off of business owners that work really, really hard to establish their network, their tribe gain trust of their personal customers. Don't think you can just sneak your way in and find, you know, a, a big built-in marketplace where you just sell your products. Mm -hmm. It's just, that's fucked up. I almost got to reverse engineer it. Cause I saw like right. what, they want to meet at five when you're coaching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So noon when you're coaching, that means they don't get the gym industry. Maybe. Yeah, After exactly. All, maybe yeah. you don't understand it. Right. Yeah, the other good thing is just showing up unannounced too and just being like, hey, I'm here to meet with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, oh, that you know that is a pretty annoying thing. Like, that's you have no regard for. Well, people our think since we since it's a time. gym, right? That we're just like hanging around. And I guess people just don't understand the difference between like boot like boutique gym that are like coach programs versus like an LA Fitness where there's just mm -hmm. like a sea of sales people and just like people waiting for stuff. But as a small business owner, a boutique gym where all of our programs are coached, we have trainers. It's a it's a service based thing. Um, we don't have people necessarily just like hanging around to just chat with you about random crap. Like we're really, really busy. If you want to have the opportunity to present your idea, contact us first. Mm -hmm. Like don't just show up and, and, and say, hey, well, you know, I don't have time to talk. Oh, but it'll just take 10. I'm like, I, I don't have time to talk to you. Like I have a client coming up, you know? And yes. Buy me dinner. Right? Liter literally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That <laughs> girl, like buy me dinner. <laughs> Seriously. Like, then Bring let, me then, food. Oh, then let's meet. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. How about this? No obligations. Right. Buy me food. Hey, Hi. Mail. Mail. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> ah! It's a mail camera. <laughs> See, look at this. UPS guy. It's interrupting our stuff. <laughs> you make an appointment. <laughs> Thank you. That's nah, got big. Is that our toilet paper? Yeah, no. That's no, One million YouTube subscribers. You're gonna there be you go. famous. <laughs> Oh, man. Now he's thinking about it, he's like... Yeah, he was like... Oh, Look how's my badge showing. <laughs> did I oh, smile? Did I say the UPS man. standards? No. Hey, we're all about working with complimentary services and products. It has to be complimentary to us. Just has to be benefit there. It has to be valuable to all parties involved. Us, business, members, you. Yeah. And that's the pyramid. That's, <laughs> that is the triangle. Right. Sure. So buy our crap. <laughs> Tell your friends to buy our crap. Wholesale, of course. Yeah, sure. I mean, you're just going to get it at a discount anyway, so you might as well just become a... Platinum Diamond Club. Right. Emerald. Emerald. And you can subscribe for free. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we're just So, I don't know. Some. This is just really for the business owners out there. We feel you. Yeah. Well, battle cry. Yeah, we know. And then for those business owners that are trying to work with other business owners, just take this as a lesson. Small businesses are super freaking busy. So respect that and take a different approach. Mm -hmm. Show me value. Show me the money. 
bring me food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cookies. That's not healthy. Maybe paleo cookies. <laughs> paleo cookies. Oh man, that's another one. All right, so yeah, that's uh, that's it for this week. It's just kind of ranty. Oh, hopefully yeah, sometimes it's you just gotta let it out, you know. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a rant. Yeah, I'm sh I gotta check my emails. I could see it's blowing up. Someone trying to sell me some stuff. Yeah, well, somebody's somebody's gonna get pissed off. Yeah, it's okay. but it's okay. Yeah. Gotta sell your jerky. No, hey, do you have a little display area where I could sell magazines? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to like sell a magazine for you. I mean, you could buy it wholesale, and then you know, so like you can just make a dollar off each magazine. Why would I want to sell a magazine? Yeah. These like these special calculators, they have all these like hypothetical like yeah, but if you just like sell like fifty units, you can make fifty dollars, right? I'm like, yeah, but it makes no sense for our business. I don't want to sell your units. <laughs> you sell your uh, units. <laughs> Did you get it off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're out. Yeah. Which yeah. ramble now? Yeah, you are rambling. So remember, subscribe, coffee talk every week. We're gonna start bringing on some special guests, doing some interviews, bringing on some other specialists and uh, experts in different fields, stuff like that. We're gonna introduce you to uh, kind of our tribe of people that we work with yep. that has helped make Elevate the best place ever. So, nice. See you next week. <laughs>